What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we have Ultra Core. This game was actually, I watched the uh, Gaming Off The Grid episode where they recommended this game. So I figured, you know, game looks pretty good and you boys better not be wrong about this one or I'm going to come and get you. But anyway, let's pop this sucker open. I think this is Ultra Core. Um, you know, lately I've been doing a lot of selling, but every now and again, I do some buying. So, yep. This is a new sealed copy this game is actually not for sale online on the uh the e-shops or whatever at least not the, not what i saw so pretty crazy but anyway here we go with ultra core this is release number 21 and i know they do uh this is a limited release you guys know strictly limited games but anyway let's pop this sucker open let's see if we get all manual or any goodies up and yeah Yes, uh, Gaming Off the Grid, highly recommended this game. They said they love it, so cover looks pretty cool. And this is the uh, supposed to come out for the Genesis. They say this is the lost running gun game from the 90s. Okay. We have a nice little game manual. You would figure with a game like this, a, uh, you know, a Genesis game, you would figure you would almost have to have a manual, right? So they did have a collector's edition for this, but, you know, I found this on eBay. I did not pre-order this or anything, although a lot of people did. Um, this one I actually found brand new for 42 bucks, and I figured, you know, 42 bucks. if I'm going to get this game, I better buy it now at 42 bucks because, uh, you know, I keep waiting around to buy Blazing Cram, and Blazing Cram just keeps going up and up and up, but I'm thinking some of the stores around me might get it, but anyway, there's the manual, there's the cart, Ultra Core. So yeah, let's check this game out and give you guys some first impressions. So what do I think about Ultra Core, at least up to this point now? We'll start by saying this. I've only played the game for about eh, two hours so far. Reason being, I'm like balls deep in Tales of Vesperia. I'm at the end of the game where you have to find all three Entelikea. So yeah, I got to finish that. I'm probably going to finish that today. And then I'll devote a lot more time to Ultra Core. But I did play the game for about two hours and... You know, is gaming off the grid right when they say it's like this great, great running gun shooter? Well, I'm not going to say they were wrong. I do think it is pretty good. Now, I do like Ultra Core a little bit better than, let's say, Gunstar Heroes, which is a good game. Treasure shooter, right? It's got good mechanics. I'll give it that. Um, things may change later on in the game. Again, I only played it for two hours, but you can uh, get new weapons, cycle through them. Um, you can change the direction of your shot uh, by if you hit the d-pad first and then the shot or the shot first and then the d-pad kind of changes you can kind of manipulate your gun um you know from that regard but that was something i learned you know you learn that like five minutes into the game pretty good game though a little drab on the color kind of not a lot of colors that popped at least on the nintendo switch version at least the two hours that i put into the game but weird thing about this game and this is why i actually bought the game um, at least as of the recording of this video, as of right now, it's uh, like mid-February 2020. I couldn't find this on the Nintendo eShop, couldn't find this on PSN. So, I don't know if they're going to add it to those networks for download later, I don't know. But as of the recording of this video, at least what I saw, and I just looked real quick, maybe it's buried in there somewhere, I don't know. I didn't see it on the Switch eShop or the PS and PS4 store, so I don't know. Maybe they're only going to do physicals on this, but that's why I got it. And it looks to be around the $50 price point. I actually found a copy online for $42, and that's why I jumped on it, um, just because somebody sold it just a couple of dollars cheaper. But, you know, guys, if you think that you want to play this game, you know, I say go for it, because, you know, push comes to shove, a game like this is only going to start creeping up in price. I mean, you can always get your $50 back. So, you know, game it off the grid. You know, thanks for recommending this one. Here we have a bag of miscellaneous we're going to take on down the flea market and you know there's nothing great here guys some xbox 360 looks like some ps2 a couple wii wii u nothing great i would say cash for this maybe 25 in trade maybe 35 to 45 you know i don't know there's nothing great here uh, there's a wii game in there um gamecube not gamecube switch there's some decent stuff in here. There's an NES game. Maybe, I don't know, maybe upwards of $50 now, now that I get to looking at it. But let's see what we get, you know, see what kind of deals we can work out with this shit. Okay, so I took that stuff on down the flea market. Didn't trade, nothing like that. Left it in the car, pretty much. Didn't see anything in the flea market, except did find a couple things. 
I paid 17 for both of these, so we have Arcana Heart 3 Love Max or Arcana Heart Love Max. I don't know. Yeah, Arcana Heart 3 Love Max. I played this game for a little bit. I like the PlayStation 2 version that I have better. Those are the only two Arcana Heart games, but you know, pretty cool female fighter. You know, again, I paid 17 for this and that. This one has a PSTV sticker on the front of the case, just to note, and it has a uh, inside pamphlet. I wouldn't call that a manual. Um, so I don't know if this is actually complete. Again, this is used, but again, these were 17 for both of them. And I have the Walking God for Wild Arms Alter Code F, uh, which is a remake of the original Wild Arms game. And I actually have the original game on the PlayStation and the original Walking Guide, but I do have a copy of Wild Arms Alter Code F on the PS2. I bought this years ago, never played through it, um, but I did see this Walking Guide there, so I figured, what the hell, whenever I see these guys, I go nuts for these. Like, all my PS1 RPGs, like, I always, whenever I see these guys, I always pick them up, and they are usually cheap, sometimes a little pricey. I've never paid more than, like, 20 bucks for one. Um, yeah, they wanted 13 for this initially, so again, it was a little bit cheaper, a little package deal there. But this is a full color manual, um, not manual, full color walking guide. There's not no posters or anything in there, but you know, pretty cool. I love seeing stuff like this. And you know, now we pull our cell phones out and we get through games that way. But you know, it's nothing like pulling out a guide and getting through a game with a guide. So guys, I feel like I did all right. So what's up with me? Well, work's been picking back up. I still have some time off. Well, why haven't I been making YouTube videos? Hey, well, I've streamed a couple times. Well, really, I've been like I just said, balls deep in tales of Vesperia. I should have that game done today. Today's Thursday, the recording of this video. So Thursday, I should have Tales of Vesperia beat. I do enjoy getting through a full JRPG. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to playing another one, you know. So what am I going to play next? I have no idea. But um, just a talking point right here. I watched Norm, the gaming historian's new video. I, I liked it. But, uh, you know, Rick's brought up some uh, some good points on that guy. Like, um, it feels like his, his investment is, like, less and less. And it, I feel like he just, like, kind of gives channel updates. And today he did the uh, pretty much a channel update and the Patreon pitch. Um, you know, I'm not trying to say anything bad about the guy. I love Norm, the gaming historian's channel. I think he has a good YouTube channel. You guys should go over there and subscribe to his channel. It's good. But, you know, he's one of those Patreon guys, and he has some new tiers, and he revealed those today. Um, I will say, Rick, he gives a physical item, a, a product with uh, some of his higher tiers. They're not that high. I, got, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I don't know. Go check it out. Go check it out. Um, but, you know, I like the guy's channel. I would, would I, you know, I'll, if he put out more videos, that, that would be good. You know, that's something Rick's talked about. He doesn't put out that many videos. Um, you know, but the ones he does put out, he, he throws out bangers, you know, so... Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are having a great week. You know, let me know what's up with you in the comments below. Till next time, peace out.